Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to this slow, steady flow class. I'm coming to you from beautiful Beijing in China. So when you're ready to start, let's come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Let your hands rest down to any comfortable position. Begin by checking in with the quality of your breath, allowing the focus on the breath to direct the mind's point of attention inward. Then check in with the quality of your thoughts and your emotions. And then tune into the physical body as though you simply check in with the body, kind of saying, hey body, how you're doing today? Then allow your eyes to open as you exhale and we'll slowly begin. Take your fingers over to the side and then bring the arms out to a nice open T shape. We'll hold that for five breaths, warming up the shoulders by extending Bending the arms and letting the arms move as wide apart as possible so that you stretch and release any tension through the shoulder girdle and through the arms. Elevate the chest just a little bit and start to breathe deeply and powerfully. Think about your shoulder blades moving away from each other. And then spread the fingertips and press outward. This may be a little bit tight for you, particularly if you type or text a lot, or even just happen to use your phone a lot, or maybe you have a weak or stiff wrists. This is a totally safe way to get strength and flexibility back through the arms. Hold it there for a moment, point the fingers down, press outwards and elevate the chest. Hold that there for a few breaths and then exhale. Let's drop the fingers down. Shake that out through the shoulders. Then let's roll through the shoulders. We're going to do five times back. So in the yoga practice, we're here to get that feeling in the body into alignment, into peace, to open up the inner sensibility to more subtle realms. Okay, let's go forward. Just taking it nice and slow, no force. Just the feeling of the body. That's good. Settle down for a moment. Feel the movement through the head, the neck, and the chest. And let's drop the head over to the left and gently open the neck and the shoulders. Don't apply too much force. Just be here for a moment. Inhale back to the center. Drop the head over to the right. Then give yourself a little bit of extra stretch, not too much. Remember you're here to build a happy, healthy, friendly relation with the body. Inhale back to the center. No judgment, no fight, no force. Inhale, lift the center of the chest and then lean just that little bit forward. Then take the hands back behind you, fingertips on the ground. Rotate the shoulder joints forward. Draw the navel in and you can lift the knees a little. Then inhale, lift the chest, pressing forward through the fingertips. We'll stay for a couple breaths to expand the chest and lift the spine up out of the pelvic bowl. One. Long, deep breaths. When you breathe, expand the chest. Two. Just take this moment. Move slowly into the inner space of the body. Three. Four. Nice and easy. Five. Slowly settle down. Just feel the body. Shake that out for a moment. And let's pop over onto the hands and knees. Hands are going to be about shoulder width apart, knees maybe a little more narrow than your hips width apart. Let's roll through the spine. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round, gaze at the knees. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round. Gaze at the knees, do it one more time. Roll through the spine so you feel the extension. And then exhale round, let's pull it under. Come back to a neutral position. 
Get comfortable in this tabletop position where you kind of feel the body having these four points into the ground and the back is relatively neutral, not too much up and definitely not here. So right in the middle. Hold your tabletop position for five breaths. One, start to activate the pelvic floor. So that's the space between the sitting bones. Two, three, take the moment to just feel the body. Four, feel the hands, the knees, the back. Feel, don't force, don't judge, just experience. And then let's start with some easy leg lift. So extend the right leg back and then just keep it up. We'll hold for five. One, drop the right hip down and just keep reaching back. So this allows your spine to lengthen. Draw the navel in and feel how the spine changes position from the tabletop to a slight extension. And that extension just gently lifts the leg a little higher. And let's put the knee down around the back, back to tabletop. From tabletop, nice and easy, let's extend the left leg dropping the left hip a little bit down. And then use the spinal extension to reach the leg back, keeping the navel in. No stress, just feel the body, feel the leg working and lifting. No judgment, you're here to make peace with the body. And then put the knee down around the back. Now let's add in the arm. So lift your left fingers down, Drop the right hip and drop the chest. Keep the gaze down to avoid straining the neck. And then reach, as though you're reaching these two points away from each other. Left hand away from the right foot. Roll the left shoulder blade away from the spine. Gaze down and breathe as freely and as deeply as possible. Really avoid holding the breath. And then exhale down, look at the knees. Let's swap over to the other side, prepare. Get your right fingertips down, the navel is in, and then reach. So these asymmetrical extensions really help strengthen the back and actually help build symmetry in the body. Particularly if you have lower back pain, these kind of simple movements that you hold for a little while with good alignment can really be therapeutic. Follow the breath. Feel the body, notice where you're working, notice where the muscles might be burning a little, that's all right. And then exhale, let's put it down. Round the back, look at the knees, and then point the knees together and exhale all the way back to child's pose. As you're down in child's pose for a moment, if you've got your hair down like I do, this might be a good time to gently put it up. Otherwise, just stay in child's pose for a few breaths. Long, deep inhalation, long, deep exhalation. Let's do it one more breath. Long, deep inhalation. And as you exhale, let's lift the head gently up. Walk the hands forward, open the knees, and we'll go for the puppy pose. Open the knees to about hips width apart. Then slowly and calmly drop the forehead down and extend back and up with the pelvis. There are many different ways to do the puppy pose. So here we find that by dropping the head down towards the mat or towards the ground, you might feel that this really helps open the shoulders, especially if you really focus on moving the shoulder blades away from the spine. Stay there for a few breaths. And then if you feel you want to move a little deeper, you can send the hips even more back and even more up. But it's totally acceptable just to stay with the head down and not worry about moving any deeper. Then let's slowly pop back up to the tabletop position. Hold your tabletop for a moment, your fingertips, the knuckles down, the heels of the hands. Draw the navel in, curl your toes under, and we're gonna come up to downward facing dog. Inhale, up to downward facing dog. Straighten the legs, send the hips back and up. And then let's bend the knees for a moment so you can feel your thigh bones just settling into their sockets. Activate the pelvic floor and then inhale, let's straighten the legs, nice and easy. Keep the breath. 
steady and deep, allowing yourself to really just tune in to that inner space, keeping it nice and steady. Feel the inner body, feel the breath, take it nice and slow. And then let's switch the gaze forward, come to plank position. Widen the shoulders, rotate the tailbone under, activate the muscles of the pelvic floor, and pitch the shoulders a little forward. How you doing? Plank can sometimes be a little intense. Hold your plank, not just with the shoulders, but with the whole body. And then exhale, bend the elbows, come all the way down. Then from here, inhale, upward facing, press through the arms, lift the thighs off the ground, soften the butt, and expand the chest. Exhale, downward facing. Get comfortable in downward facing again. Let the breath be deep and steady. Let's come forward to plank again. Inhale, plank. So get comfortable in plank. Check in with the body. Shoulders are widening. Tailbone is under. The abdominal muscles are nice and firm. And then pitch the shoulders that little bit forward. Remember, in plank, you're not only holding yourself up with the shoulders, but the body, including the legs, are participating. Exhale, bend the elbows. We'll come down. This time, a long hold in the cobra pose. Come up onto the elbows and inhale, lift the center of the chest. Lifting your kneecaps up, and we'll hold this for five breaths. One, nice and easy. Relax the neck. Two, there's a tendency in back bends to crane the neck. And instead of doing that, think about the spine elongating and extending out through the top of the head. Stay for just a few more breaths, feel your back muscles, soften the butt muscles, and then let's easy look to the left, back to the center, look to the right, back to the center, again, cobra. Now there's an invitation to lift your cobra a little bit up by just picking the elbows ever so slightly up, then grip your fingertips and drag your body forward which should increase activation in your back muscles. If that doesn't feel right, just go ahead and settle, settle the elbows back down. We'll stay for just maybe two more breaths. Feel the body, take it nice and slow. Remember your legs, keep them active. Exhale, place the ribs down. Keep the head up and the ribs up. And fingertips spread open. Rotate the shoulders forward, the arms are straight, hands near the pelvis. Bring your legs together and inhale, Shalabhasana position. Such an important back bend to really bring depth in the spine. We'll stay for about five breaths. Keep the thighs straight and focus on lifting the thighs off the ground, elongating the back muscles rather than tensing or shortening. Almost there, let's drop the thighs down, take the hands and inhale, upward facing, press through the shoulders, expand the chest, lift the spine up out of the pelvis and exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, feel the change in the back. Notice the difference in the center of the pelvis. Notice how the back feels. It may need a moment to release. Then roll over the toes and exhale, kneel down. From the kneeling position, draw the navel in and start to feel that the chest rises up. And we'll stay here for five breaths. One, two, rotate your thigh bones towards each other. Dangle your arms behind, shoulders forward. Three, keep lifting, keep elevating. Four. Five, take the hands on the knees, round the back. 
and then inhale, extend again. Come up onto the knees. Spread the knees to about hips width apart. Slowly lift the center of the chest up. Dangle the arms, interlock the fingers, and lift the center of the chest as you root down into the knees. One, nice and easy. Two, just keep lifting, 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 strengthening the back muscles. Three, four, five. Hold on to the rib cage. Place the rib cage back over the pelvis. Slowly settle the hips down. Roll your shoulders forward, child's pose. Give your back muscles a chance to release. Squeeze the knees into each other to activate the thighs and release the muscles of the lower back. And place the top of the head on the ground and just gently roll forward so that you can feel just a little weight in the top of the head. And then exhale, let's roll back down. Slowly lift your head up. Take the hands forward, cross the feet underneath you, and extend the legs. Dandasana position for five deep breaths. One. Bases of the big toes together, spread the toes. Feel the thigh bones moving back into their sockets. And then lift the spine up and out of the pelvis, expanding the chest. The chin stays down. Every breath, keep elevating the chest. And then pivot forward into the pelvis, taking the hands down. Start off with your fingertips. Draw the navel in towards the spine. And then reach forward over the thighs. Figure out where your body tells you that it's comfortable to go to. Try not to go beyond that. Elbows can rest on the ground, or if it's comfortable for you, you could hold on to the toes. Inhale, lengthen, 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 and exhale, fold. Shoulders roll back. Avoid working with the arms. You could close the eyes for a moment. Feel the inner body, feel the legs, the back muscles releasing, the core muscles pulling in, settle into the forward fold. Staying here with feeling and with sensitivity, remembering that the goal of yoga is not just stretching and bending, but is really a deep space of inner awakening that starts with feeling through the embodied presence, so that you can really feel the body. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale there, nice and easy. Slowly roll back, bend the knees, point the toes. Hold the opposite knee for a moment so you can just kind of pivot in. Activate the muscles of the pelvic floor. Rotate the tailbone a little under and then expand the chest. And as you expand the chest, stay here. Breathe five times. One. Spiral the knees towards each other. Two. Three. Take it nice and easy. No rush. Four. And five. Now cross the feet. Reach over. If you got two yoga blocks, it'll be a little bit easier with the blocks. Place the blocks down. Take the hands down in the center of the blocks. Pitch the shoulders forward and the hips back and up. And we'll stay for five breaths. One. Keep working. Maybe your feet can come off the ground. Maybe not. Two. Keep working. Three. Four. Don't rush. Five. Exhale. Settle down. Move the blocks on over to the side. And roll your feet underneath. Let's take the hands forward. Step back to your plank pose. Plank. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Come down to a push-up. Inhale. Upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing. Now we're gonna come forward to the pigeon pose. So bend the right knee, slide forward until the knee is between the hands, then settle the hips back. Point the left toes, come up onto the fingertips. Lift the center of the chest up. If you're finding this very difficult, you could grab a block and place it underneath your hip on the right side so that you can feel more support. But if you don't need that, just settle the hips to the ground. We'll stay for five breaths. One, two, keeping the knee joint closed, really protects it. Keeping the spine elevated helps square the pelvis. So we'll just stay up for a couple breaths. Three, keep it a little active so you have a little bit of bounce in the pelvis. Four, almost there. Five, drop it down. Curl your left toes under. Let's go back to plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down. Slide the left knee forward. Keep it closed. Up onto the fingertips. Settle the hips back, pointing the feet. Using the block underneath your left hip if you need that extra help. Staying up on the fingertips and keeping your pigeon pose active and elongated. One. Feel the body, don't force. Two. Feel the inner sensations. Three, move the mind into a subtle space, a meditative flow, a feeling, embodiment, and awakening. Lifting the center of the chest. Feel the energy of the body. And then slowly settle down. Hands down, curl the right toes, press into the shoulders, inhale. Let's go back to plank. Find the plank pose. Pitching the shoulders forward and exhale, chaturanga, that push-up position. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's step the right foot, left foot forward. Slide the body through and exhale, roll the spine down. Constructive rests for a moment, the knees together, the feet about hips width apart, the sacrum resting on the ground so you can rotate the tailbone under so you feel the sacrum down. Rest the hands on the body for a moment. Feel, just feel, notice how you feel. Long, deep breaths. Stay for maybe two more here. Listen to the body. Create the space of healing. No force, just the experience. A moment of sanctuary, a moment of rest. Then draw the knees up into the chest. Give yourself just a little rock, 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 rock. And the hands down and extend the legs. This is Viparita Karani, the most accessible inversion. You can think about this as just legs up. Point the toes and feel the blood in circulation from the feet gliding down through the legs into the pelvis. So if you've been sitting all day, driving, walking, standing on your feet in general, this is a wonderfully therapeutic posture. Stay here, simply working, breathing, experiencing, and then gently open the legs to a V shape. Stay there for a moment, and if this is stressful for you, you might not want to go further, but potentially opening the legs even more. And we'll stay just for a couple breaths. Your sacrum is on the ground. The lower back could be a little bit off the ground. We'll just stay just feeling the movement through the inner thighs. You could place your hands underneath the knees for support. 
or you can even place the blocks underneath your knees. One more breath, let's activate the pelvic floor, then exhale, bring the legs together. Stay in Viparita Karani for a moment and really activate the legs. Then bend the knees again, open the knees, point the feet up, happy baby pose. If you have a hard time reaching your feet, you can hold on to the shins or even the knees. Feel the body, so the purpose here is to create a healing space, not to try to whack or stress or force the body. Just go to where your body tells you that's good. Stay there with feeling, with sensitivity. Drop the sacrum towards the ground. Hang out there for a moment. And then let's draw the knees back in, hugging yourself in a little bit, roll. Drop the feet down, and let's extend the left leg, and then the right leg. Point the feet, keep the legs real active. Place the hands on top of your thighs. Inhale, lift your right leg. You could hold on to the shin or the ankle, or you could hold on to your big toe. And inhale, lift the head up, potentially touching the shin bone. We'll stay for five breaths. One. Combination of strength and flexibility. Two, wherever you get to, let it be enough. Three, no competition. Four, remember to enjoy your practice. Five, inhale, let's put the head down. Exhale, drop that right leg down. Left leg comes up. You can hold anywhere that's comfortable for you. Maybe all the way up to the toe. Really, there's no hierarchy. Just find the way to work. Then exhale, lift up. We'll stay for five. One. Find the space of inner connection where you're happy and grateful just to be doing the work. Two. Three. Almost there. Four. Five, inhale, head down, exhale, leg down. Bend the knees, open the knees. And if you feel that you need a little extra support right now to grab the blocks for Supta Baddha Konasana, place them under the knees. We'll stay for five more breaths. Keep the mind calm. Let yourself rest and release. If you feel you don't need the blocks, you can remove them, but they provide a nice support. Steady the mind, almost entering into that space between wakefulness and sleep, where the body moves into healing mode, dropping underneath the thought into a truly equanimous, open awareness. Stay here for a few moments as your mind settles. And then let's bend the knees together, move the blocks on over to the side. And then exhale, stretch the legs open. Close your eyes and just rest. Feel the space of the body, the inner body, the body of energy, and the space around the body where the mind is calm, equanimous, moving into a deep, calm, inner awareness, the boundaryless feeling of the energy body, Release into that for a moment. And then allow yourself a deeper breath. As you exhale, let's bend the knees and the elbows. Draw into your chest and roll a little bit. Over to the side, whichever side that's comfortable for you. Then come on back up. Find your comfortable seated position. Turn the fingers open, tips of the fingers towards each other. Feel deep, resonant breath. Keep 
Keep the eyes closed. Let the breath travel up and down the spinal axis. Letting each breath carry the feeling of emptiness, of infinite expansion, of an open heart. Then bring your hands in prayer position at the center of the chest, planting the seeds of happiness within. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be filled with love. Allow yourself a deeper breath. Thank you so much for joining me on the practice today. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be filled with love. Namaste.